In this a Videmux tutorial I will show you how to colour correct a video clip. I've assumed you have some understanding of using Videmux. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK. So this is a video clip I took a sort with camel and the lighting conditions were terrible so the white balance is all over the place as you can see here. So although a Videmux hasn't got a lot of tools you can actually improve the colour by first left clicking on the video button up here and first of all just place the text next to the play filter and go back into video and then left click on filters. If you left click colour hopefully you've got something called M Player EQ2. You're looking for something that says adjust contrast, brightness, saturation and gamma. Double click this. Now you've got some options here which you can muck around with the colours and that. Because the white balance on this one is way out, it's very blue what I wouldn't do is adjust the blue. What you want to do is actually drag the red and green sliders up and you get some idea of what you're kind of looking at. Now if any time you want to change anything if you just right click on a slider you've got the reset option. So I'm going to just take this and adjust it take the red up slightly higher than the green. OK. Now another thing, you can adjust the saturation so that should take out some of the haziness as well. OK. Now once you're relatively happy, obviously left hand side is the original, this is the new setting. Just left click on OK and then left click close and play your video. Now I think that's a vast improvement to what we've got here. Um, so I'll leave it at that. If at any time you're not happy with the settings just go back into video then filters and just under the active filters just double click your filter and you can change your settings again if you want to. But as I said, I'm reasonably happy with this setting here. So, like I said at the beginning, I assume you know what you're doing when it comes to rendering a video, how to set the outputs uh, sections up, so I'm not going to go into that. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.